Hello friends, welcome back to getting yourself organized with org mode. My little screencast about org mode, um, org mode functions and concepts. Today, August 30, we will talk about tracking habits. So the question is, what is a habit? A habit is a recurring task that you do frequently. Examples, uh, every day you brush your teeth, or at least you should do so, um, or you have to water the plants in your house every second day, or you say, I want to slim down, so I have to go to the gym every week, once or twice or whatever. And usually a habit is a, is a small job that you have to do. It's not a big project that you frequently do, it's just... Um, a small thing like brushing the teeth and the, the problem is installing the habit in your brain if you have kids you know uh, how difficult it is to install the habit of brushing the teeth in their brain you have to remind them a thousand times but uh, once the habit is installed then you usually don't need any uh, reminder that you have to do it. You do it automatically because it's a habit. It's it's not something that, that you are really remembering. You just do it because you always do it. So, after this definition, we have to think, well, what do we need to track habits in uh, org mode? The first thing, if you want to track habits, is that you go to Customize Emacs specific option and then you say org modules and there is an option called habit that has to be enabled. If it's not enabled you can't track habit. Then if you track habits you need a recurring item that is a sort of to do keyword like next or to do or whatever and it should re represent an open state, uh, so you are not uh, tracking done things, but you, it's like a, a recurring task, just easy. The big difference is if you define a habit, uh, you go in the properties drawer and you define a property called style, and this has the value habit. And since it's a repeating task, the syntax for the repetitions is a bit different than usual. Because now you have one period of time that says I want to do the task at most every two days or at least every second day, uh, every third day. And very important when you track habits, you need to uh, lock the status changes. So whenever you reach the done state, you need to record that in your logbook because habit tracking looks at the old log entries and says oh he has done the task on that day and on that day and so on. So if you get the, uh, if, if you have the normal setup like we have in our example file, you will get uh, prompted for a comment if you uh, finish the task occurrence for today. And if you do that, uh, exit with control C twice and not control C, control K because then you kill the log entry. Okay, just two examples from real life. I, I was really using that now for a few days. So the goal is I want to monitor how good I am in the habit of practicing musical instruments. I have two instruments that I like. One that is my favorite is the bass and I want to play it at least uh, 10 minutes every day. So I have a recurring task that says repetition interval is one day. We can have, lo have a look at it. You see there's the logbook. No. No, I'm um, missing an end here. That's why it's so messed up. Okay. You see, it's scheduled for today. It says today plus, uh, or the day when you finish it, plus one day. Okay. This is the habit for the bass playing. And the second instrument I occasionally uh, play is the guitar. I want to play it uh, every third day at least, but better maybe every second day. 
So we have a frequent task here and it's plus two days or maybe three days. And both if you look in the properties folder you see they have the style property that has the value habit. So next step what does that mean if I have a habit? That's interesting when you look at your daily or weekly agenda. Let's open an agenda view, you know, control C, A, where am I? C, A, and to do an agenda for today or the week. So now you see my both uh, habit tasks. And at the end you see a graph block. And every asterisk marks a task occurrence that you finished, that you said it's done. And the exclamation mark marks the task, uh, the, the today's date. So if you look at practice bears daily, you see a lot of days when I did it successfully. And today it's here and the background is yellow. That means the task will be overdue on the next day. Tomorrow it's already overdue because I should do it daily. If you look at the guitar, it's different. The exclamation mark is with a green background. That means the task could have been done on that day, but it's not necessarily to be done on that date because you could do also do it tomorrow and I'm still within my time frame of two or three days. Uh, red is the future. The task is overdue on that day and blue means the task was uh, to be done not uh, yet on that day. So this is the, the real ideal uh, and, and, and very nice way that I say I did everything I should do and I, I practiced every day. But now let's uh, tweak the thing a bit and let's go to the logbook entries you see here. You get a state change for every occurrence when I finish the task and now let me say okay this 25th of August I kill that line. And the same on my guitar practice I also kill one line. So I pretend I skipped that occurrence of the habit tracking. So let's do the agenda again. C, A and then A. And now you see the difference. That day that we skipped has no asterisk first. And of course it says okay the task uh, is, is yellow. That means you should have done it on that day. You see here is a green one. That means this one would be my, my two day distance. This one is my three day distance. And then I really did it on the fourth day. That means okay I missed one occurrence of my habit. And here as well you see that uh, red background means okay you really missed the last uh, one before this occurrence and so on. So this helps you practically very easily to, to spot how good you are with your habit that you want to install. It's, it's quite easy and you will notice that you just see this one uh, today and not tomorrow and not in two days. And this has a reason there's a variable that says all habits show habits only for today that is set to true. So you only see it for the current day. If I would set this uh, variable to false, I would see the same graph on all the days where this task occurs. Then other things that, that you should keep in mind. Habit tracking uh, tracks the, the successful completion of your tasks. And of course, uh, as I said in the beginning, those tasks are usually very stupid tasks like brushing the teeth, watering the plants or whatever. Something that, that doesn't have much difference from day to day. 
and uh, if you use habit tracking for an example like that yet you say i want to learn a musical instrument then okay it's nice to track the habit that you practice daily with a habit tracker but i really advise you to have another task where you track your progress that you say i have a workbook and i start with chapter one and lesson one and then i go on with lesson two and so on and i track this in an extra task uh, happy tracking problem is that every day you record a timestamp so if you really uh, do it very much habit tracking then you will have a long long list of timestamps sooner or later and uh, when this one is full it's it's not uh, growing so the idea is uh, when you really want to stick to habit tracking you could also delete the latest lines and say okay they are out of my habit tracking window i don't need those timestamps at all but usually uh, the psychologists say uh, if you install a habit it, it takes if it's a daily habit it takes usually around three weeks and then uh, you are stick to it and, and your brain is programmed to do this every day so when your habit is, is really successfully installed and you see oh I have that full line of, of green uh, background asterisks here uh, that means I'm, I'm stick to, sticking to that habit then of course you can also delete this habit from your uh, system and say okay I don't have to track this any longer because uh, I'm really doing it as I wanted to do it. Okay, folks, that's all for now. So we quickly finished episode six with five snippets. Now I will do a blog entry today or tomorrow about that. And then uh, I have a few topics left to be discussed, but those are a bit more complicated. I have to try out things first and, and learn something myself, I'm afraid. And but I will be back, don't worry. You will get some additional videos and uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the comments, they are really motivating. And see you next time. <laughs>